Hey, it's your average YouTuber here. My name is Cole. I'm going to be showing you how you can step up your photography game with just some steel wool. I think that one's good. Something that can be extremely easy is doing some long exposure steel wool photography. You're going to need this uh, quadruple zero grade steel wool for this to work. Anything more than that, it's not going to light and it's not going it, to, when you start spinning it, it's not going to catch and sparks won't fly. You're going to need a lanyard with a cage. I made mine myself with some chicken wire. You could also use uh, one of those uh, whisks, whatever works, as well as a lighter. You can't forget that. The lens I used for this was a 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. Um, Canon's kind of like a bottom, like average consumer tier kind of lens. You don't need a special lens for this. I'll get into lenses in another video. But for this shoot, I did use this lens. So that's pretty much it. That's all you need. After that, you just want to find a good location. You do not want somewhere uh, that has a lot of dead leaves and it's dry and stuff. I'm doing this in the winter time, so I have a little more leeway, but you still want to be away from anything that'll catch fire. Please be safe when you're doing this. Uh, I don't want anyone causing any fires. That's a big thing right now, so don't be that person. Well, how do you do this? Well, it's very simple, actually. You take a little piece, like that much. You, you could do a whole lot more, but like, for your first couple times, I, I recommend, you know, using this much. You just want to fit that inside the cage like so, like there, and then you're good to go. All you have to do is light it, and then either you could set a timer on your camera, or you can have a friend push the button. But in my opinion, you want the shutter to start when you are um, in motion, swinging this around. So this is why I have that there, and you just want to swing it all around. Um, sparks are going to go everywhere. It's good fun. It's awesome. But you want to spin and spin and spin until it is completely out and you hear your shutter click or you're sure that it went off. After that, you're going to go review it and it's going to look awesome. You're going to be like, I don't need to do anything to this. This is perfect. But trust me, we're going to head into Lightroom and we're going to do some tweaking to it to make it a little pop. So this is the third time I'm doing this um, just because it was too quiet and it was rambling on for a long time. But uh, the points I wanted to get across was make sure what you're doing is unique and uh, what is your style. You want to develop a style when you're a photographer. You don't want to be copying what other people are doing. You want to keep those highlights down. You want a lot of detail in this. What I did in the, a lot of these photos is um, for one of them I did a little bit of light painting. And when I did that, it brought a lot of more detail in the rocks that would otherwise be dark. And it also added a blue kind of light to it, so I had that orange and blue contrast to, um, to balance it out. Another thing is, when you're spinning it, don't spin it in one direction. Kind of go in different directions, uh, kind of point it at the camera at some points, but uh, don't be too close. Um, be a good distance away from it. Um, you don't want just a spark hitting the lens and then it's just a bright light and it ruins the whole, whole photo. Also, take a bunch of pictures. Don't just take like two or three. Take like 10 to 15. Change up locations. Change up uh, framing. If you like a, a certain location, just try, try different angles. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, like this video. Uh, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see. I, I'll be doing more videos in the future and also uh, send me links to like your Instagrams or you know your Facebooks uh, Just pictures of, of the steel wool like either you've done in the past or that you have done after watching this video I, I'd really want to see those. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's it. So uh, 